If you like my videos, don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest news regarding my channel and my content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe below or at the end of the video. Don't forget to check out my brand new Amazon store, filled with recommendations on Blu-rays, DVDs, books and other media featured in my videos. G'day guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again from Down Under with another movie review. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the latest release from Village Roadshow Pictures. Starring Margot Robbie, Sebastian Stan and Alison Janney. Directed by Craig Gillespie, it is I, Tonya. I, Tonya tells the extraordinary true story of US figure skater Tonya Harding. Having been thrust into the sport as a youth, Tonya spends her entire young life devoted to becoming the best figure skater in the world. With a troubled childhood and held back by an abusive mother, her abusive partner Jim, and sporting officials who don't believe she's dignified enough to make it as a champion, Tonya struggles as she climbs her way to the top. But just as she's reached levels of public acclaim, her sporting career is put in jeopardy after an attack on rival figure skater Nancy Kerrigan puts her and Jim under investigation by the FBI. Yes, I, Tonya is another true story in a long line of true stories that have come out this Oscars season. But for me personally, I, Tonya really stands above the rest. Tonya's story is one that is just so bizarre that it's hard to believe any of it could have ever actually happened. It's kind of like watching a storyline from Fargo. You know how you're told at the beginning, this is based on true events, and then you watch it and you're like, yeah, none of this actually ever happened. And in the case of Fargo, none of that actually did ever happen. But in the case of I, Tonya, you better believe that every darn thing you see in this movie actually happened. Well, of course that is to a certain extent. In fact, this movie opens up with a sequence of title cards that tells us that this movie was actually based on a series of highly contradictive interviews conducted by the movie's screenwriter Stephen Rogers with both Tonya Harding and her ex-partner Jim Galuli. Look, before we go any further, I need to get this out of the way. Don't think that I'm going to go through this entire review without at least once acknowledging the complete irony that is this movie co-starring Sebastian Stan and having been written by Stephen Rogers. Okay, I've acknowledged that, and with that out of the way, it's, it's back to the review. The contradictive nature of the interviews on which this movie is based actually adds to the movie's quirky, offbeat style. The entire movie is literally built around the idea that we may or may not actually be watching a true retelling of events that happened over 20 years ago. While most biopics have a tendency to sort of sugarcoat the truth a little bit, I, Tonya daringly plays up to the decades-long bewilderment that the general public have had surrounding Tonya Harding's career. It creates this really wonderfully twisted sort of darkly comedic style that I honestly don't think I've really seen all that much in biopics before. The movie doesn't shy away from breaking all kinds of cinematic conventions. Characters continually break the fourth wall. They're looking into the camera and saying what you're about to see didn't really happen or let me show you what actually happened and then proceed to show us an alternate version of the scene that we've just watched. Additionally the movie is framed by faux interview footage of the characters sort of regaling the story to us. These pieces are so peculiar and hilarious that to me I could only imagine that these are faithful recreations of the actual interviews that were held for this movie. The construction of the story is excellent and the visual style is absolutely beautiful. There are some really gorgeously choreographed figure skating sequences unlike any I've ever seen before. It really all adds up to some really captivating and joyful stuff. The only thing that might have put me off about certain figure skating sequences was that Margot Robbie's face was quite obviously CGI'd onto a body double's body. Of course, an actual figure skater had to fill in for Robbie during these sequences. Because of that, it's not really something that pulled me out of the movie all that much or made me enjoy the movie even less. It was just something that I sort of saw and went, ooh, a little, little bit of, of not... 100% great CGI there, but I'm not going to be the guy that complains about CGI in a movie like this. The movie is complemented by an awesome soundtrack of 70s and 80s sort of rock ballads. It's a soundtrack that's so awesome it could easily pass as a soundtrack for a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. In fact, two of the songs that are actually featured in this movie were featured on Guardians of the Galaxy soundtracks. And yes, I just made another Marvel reference. If only Margot Robbie was hashtag Team Marvel, we could have gone for the trifecta factor here. Speaking of, Margot Robbie is an actress whose work I've enjoyed in the past but not one that I've ever really thought about too much. This however 
is quite clearly her breakthrough performance. Not only does she play Tonya to a T, but brings an incredible emotionality and sense of humour to the role that I wasn't expecting. Robbie's brilliant performance makes you feel for Tonya. A figure that's never had the public on her side. It's moving and heartbreaking and made me feel sympathy for someone I never thought I would. The movie is not a scathing attack on Tonya, nor does it try to paint the events of the Kerrigan attack in a good light, but Robbie's incredibly human performance helps us to try and understand the woman behind all the controversy. Likewise, Alice and Janney delivers a terrific performance as Tonya's mother, Lavonna. I've been an admirer of Janney since The West Wing and have always enjoyed her film performances, even though most have been sort of smaller roles in independent flicks. I feel though that I, Tonya, finally gives Janney the spotlight she deserves with such an outlandish character that truly shows off her full potential. Always such a stern and powerful actress, I never realised until now just how funny Janney could be in the right role. Next to Robbie's Tonya, Janney delivers an absolutely standout performance and makes me just want to see more of her right now. Both Robbie and Jenny have been nominated for Academy Awards for their respective roles in this movie. Do they deserve to win? You bet they do. Will they win? Well, knowing how political the Academy can be sometimes, I'm honestly not too sure. I'm actually hoping that Robbie can pull another Jennifer Lawrence. You know, be the new upcomer that kind of beats out Meryl Streep to another Academy Award. Of course, Streep is nominated for her wonderful performance in The Post. Having seen both movies, I can certainly say that Margot Robbie definitely deserves to walk away with the Oscar in hand. I can't go on without at least a passing mention of Sebastian Stan, who is great in this. I don't think I I've seen him in too much other than the Marvel movies so it's nice to see him in another role and I think he plays this one beautifully. Again he gets to show both a comedic and a dark side that's not often seen in his other roles. It's not a character that I particularly liked and if we are to believe Tonya's side of the story not one we should but it's just impossible not to love Stan's portrayal of this character. For a biopic movie that has quite clearly been released at this time of year simply to be an Oscars contender, I, Tonya, strangely enough, doesn't actually take itself too seriously at any time. And it, it never tries to be more than what it actually is. It's an oddly non-pretentious biopic to the extent that I, I think that might actually be a hindrance on the movie's ability to pick up any Academy Awards. I, Tonya is a movie that I believe has high rewatch value. It's, it's a movie that I could actually see myself re-watching every once in a while. And to me, that, that's a sign of a highly enjoyable movie. Other than some maybe slightly unconvincing CGI, I'm trying to think of anything that I objectively didn't like about this movie. And I'm, I'm honestly struggling to think of anything. I went into this movie expecting or hoping that I'd enjoy it and just ended up loving it. Everything from the performances to the movie's structural style and its awesome soundtrack just boiled down to a movie that was just so captivating to me. It was a movie that just really grabbed me on an emotional level. And because of that, using the 6.0 scoring system, wherein 0.0 is the lowest and 6.0 is the highest, I will be scoring I, Tonya 6.0. I, Tonya is exciting, touching, entertaining, and very, very funny. It's a movie that I believe deserves every single accolade that it's been nominated for, and a movie that I think could go on to become a personal favourite. And at that, that rounds out another movie review. Thank you once again to my wonderful friends over at Village Roadshow for providing me with in-season passes to check out this movie for the purposes of this review. If you're a first-time viewer of my channel and you've enjoyed this movie review and you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future, then please give me some support and at the end of the video, hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen. To all my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me. And to absolutely everybody out there, don't forget to give this video a like down below. It does a great deal in getting all my videos out there. And look, I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time though, guys, take care and I hope you have a wonderful day.